Okay, so we have an update for Carnival Coins and the Carnival LR Manor with the new uh, Super Saiyan Goku Carnival LR that dropped on GB. And we're going to be talking about it. So it seems like they're actually finally fixing the <laughs> biggest issue with the Carnival Coins, I feel. Which is the fact that you cannot exchange anything for Carnival Coins. Even right now on JP and Global, we still cannot exchange anything for Carnival Coins, which is really weird because that banner came out all the way back in August, right? The original Carnival LR banner. And everyone's just like, okay, what, what are they doing? What, what's going on here, man? So we'll go ahead and take a look here. Let's see. Uh, let me just translate this page actually so you guys can see where. So. What's going on is information on the function to exchange duplicate characters for carnival coins, right? We've added information regarding this matter. Thank you for playing Dragon Ball Z Dokkan Battle. Uh, we plan to address this issue in an update around January. Um, uh, during the current Double Rates banner, which is held from today, if you recruit a character who meets the condition for the carnival coins, it'll say that you've acquired a character that can be exchanged, but as of now, obviously, you cannot exchange for carnival coins. So if you pull a unit that you have maxed rainbowed and you get an extra dupe of them, usually you would be able to trade them for three coins. Unfortunately, that is not the case still right now. Now, obviously what i'm presuming this is going to be is for the anniversary because we know that the eighth anniversary starts in a little over a month from now which is absurd right uh that we're already a year in from the seventh anniversary like the lr gods in particular like they're still absurdly good right they're still like a top well i'd say top I don't 10 yeah they're definitely a top 10 unit in the game I don't think they're top five anymore um I definitely think that they will are top 10 though and it's just crazy to really think about it that way like wow <laughs> but besides the point obviously what I'm anticipating for them to do is to keep the Dokkan Fest LR X Carnival banner format where we have a Dokkan Festival LR. Then on top of that, we also have a Carnival LR that comes to the game. We don't know what the anniversary is going to be. I There's tons of guess, guesses that we could do. Maybe Trunks and Zamasu, Gohan and Cell from the Cell Saga, right? Even Broly Gohan, a lot of people have been saying that, right? There's tons of potential options that we can't see, but... We know that it's probably going to be in January for the GP version. Now, global, I would say even though it's like probably for like anniversary ish for JP, that doesn't mean global is probably going to get it like that much later. I would assume because this banner, right? Um, Actually, I should I could probably bring up the global banner. Is there a way I could bring up summons at all in here? I guess I could just go to global campaigns, right? And we could see that the global banner for this one, when did it drop? I have to remember. I think it's, it's this one right here, right? This is when the LR Trunks and Gohan came out, right? You see that this banner dropped on the uh, 14th of February, right? So this banner is right here in the 15th of December, right? My brain's just messing up, but... I think what's going to happen is JP will get this update in January, probably the mid January. Like we usually get like an update mid January around this time frame pre anniversary. And that's probably going to introduce the carnival coin exchange. Then I'm assuming global is probably going to get it before this carnival banner comes out. So global will be able to probably exchange before this banner comes out is what I'm anticipating. Maybe around like the 8th or something or maybe the day before. Who knows, right? But that's my guess is global doesn't usually take too long to get these updates. I mean, global even already has burst mode right now as we're like this video is being recorded, right? So that's how I'm assuming this is going to go forward with that, right? And... That's going to be pretty cool because what I'm anticipating is for the anniversary. Uh, well, we could see that these two units are obviously not on this Carnival LR banner. I think that was anticipated. By the way, don't summon on this banner. It sucks. I, I got shafted personally, but we move, right? Sometimes it'd be like that. <laughs> um, if you take a look here, the this is what I expect the format to be for the anniversary as well. We It's going to be a normal Carnival LR banner like this rather than an actual double rates banner. We see that there's seven featured LRs. I'm assuming... Carnival Goku and Metal Cooler are going to return for the anniversary Carnival LR banners. We don't know which one's going to be on which, but I would say they usually like, you know, kind of mixing them around, throwing them up. So that's going to be good. 
And yeah, so I also expect Cooler and the LR Super Saiyans to return as well. I mean, that just makes sense because in the past few years, the worldwide download celebration units have always returned on the anniversary banners. So it's like, well, they're probably going to do the same thing before the Carnival LRs. I know a lot of people were hoping for this banner that uh, I probably shouldn't have closed it. But for this banner that just came out, I think a lot of people were interested to see like even if they're unfeatured which i don't think carnival lrs will ever be unfeatured by the way because it's like a carnival featured lr maybe they could in the future right they could always change things up but yeah um we know there's going to be a carnival teal coin lr but when these guys come back you'll be able to pick them up with coins and that's going to be really good for the exchange to be out before the anniversary because then you could exchange all these characters that you got on these double raids banners right because ever since the worldwide celebration they only double well i guess and the only carnival banners that have been out are the double rates banners because these are the only carnival banners that aren't double rates so i'm sure many people got tons of ssrs if you did summon a lot on this banner that you can put in for coins so just gotta wait a little longer if you've been holding on since worldwide to exchange some of these characters but by then you are going to be able to at least if you're a jp right and global it's like january ish but you will be able to exchange them very very soon within the next month or two right so i think that's a good thing I still think it's extremely stupid that they waited. Like, why did they even bring out the carnival coin thing before it was even finished or finalized? That doesn't make sense at all. I don't know what they're thinking. Akatsuki is just really bad at that. Um, but additionally, there was an issue where you couldn't exchange for the two coins. Now you can. I wonder if the Dokkan Wiki updated that, right? I think it would be in the Baba shop. Um, oh, it's cool. Featured gotchas, right? But I think... Where could I bring this up here? I know there's a oh way other shop shops right here. I guess it would be isn't Baba's treasures, right? Um, let's see. Gotcha coins. Did they update it? Uh, yeah, they did update it. So you can see like you can exchange these characters for the gotcha coins now. Um, this guy just got an easy. I'm actually farming his bundles up right now. We'll see how good he is. This Piccolo is actually this is a steel low key. If you want to grab this Piccolo or even a copy or two of this Piccolo, I think that's a steal. 200 coins for this guy? That's absurd, right? This guy is stupid good. Uh, it's crazy that he's on this banner. Double rates, right? Um, This guy alone, like, Orange Piccolo is going to be coming, like, you know, a few weeks. By the way, tomorrow there's also going to be a stream of Superhero. There's a lot of stuff talking about here, but that's pretty cool. And I guess there's also the, um, the Christmas little um exchanges on jp right you can get the meat the orbs and stuff uh, i guess it's good to just bring this up here but yeah let me know what you guys think finally carnival stuff coming soon for to exchange it just get, <laughs> gotta give it a few more months but surely <laughs> thank you for watching let me know what you think and i'll catch you all in the next video peace out